All right, guys, I have another super exciting Reebok vintage review. Um, and you guys are gonna see a lot of those coming in. Uh, I'm, I'm on a vintage streak lately. Uh, I managed to scoop a lot of pairs that I was eyeballing for a long time for very reasonable prices and add them to the collection. So uh, without further ado, let me show you what it is. As you can see, early 90s Reebok box, my favorite. And the model is the uh, Arsenal Low, part of the preseason uh, series. And you can see the original price was $70, uh, discounted to $52, where this person bought it. Uh, the colorway is white, black, and cobalt, size 9. Fit me perfectly well. They run a little bit snug. Uh, so, um, yeah, I saw them. I knew that they're going to be in a great condition. So, let me just open the box and show it to you. Very well packed by the seller. Uh, great service by that guy, by the way. And this is my second Arsenal Low. Um, I have the newer 94 this is the one that came in 93 so two generations of the arsenal are now in my possession and let me take that uh, box and put it here in the background and here they are i think this is one of the most beautiful preseason uh series sneaker uh, that came out in the early 90s um a little bit weird and a little bit of backstory on the preseason so uh, reebok has a cross training series they're kind of separated to uh, strictly cross trainers and then cross trainers that are more dedicated to football or baseball. Uh, and this is the preseason. So alongside that, they created the lines of, uh, some of you are familiar with the scrimmage and the uh, pump pay dirt, which were more catered towards the football. And then we have the uh, Arsenal and the Atlas, which are kind of the same, but I'm going to explain it to you. Uh, dedicated to baseball uh, a little bit more and kind of endorsed by Frank Thomas aka Big Hurt uh, where the pay dirt and the scrimmage were endorsed by Emmett Smith um, and let me show you um, so this one like I said came in 93 um, the lowest version is this one called uh, the Arsenal low then we had the Arsenal mid we kind of had um, kind of had a uh, was of course obviously a little bit higher uh, but I had a um, Velcro strap right in the midfoot section. Uh, this particular design is one of my all-time favorites because uh, when it came out, it was so colorful and so, uh, you know, quote-unquote full of technology that I absolutely loved it. I love this stitched logo on top of the, the mesh, as you can see, and the perforations underneath. Uh, I love this uh, kind of a wing going in. It looks really nice on the side. I uh, always thought the medial side is kind of plain with almost completely white. Same was with the mid and higher version. Uh, so there was a mid, like I said, and there was the um, the top level one, which featured pump and then later Insta Pump, which it's kind of odd because um, it was named the Arsenal, but then I've seen it as an Atlas in many um, different colorways. Uh, maybe it's original based different uh, continents had a different name but i've seen it in the states as well so it's a little bit unclear why reebok did that um, same exact shoe same exact uh setup everything is the same but uh, uh carry two names uh, atlas and arsenal um, the one with the pump had the strap here in the back um, pre-season right around the pump um, here it's right on the ton as you can see and these are completely and absolutely preserved guys this is 1993 shoe uh, full grain thick leather as you can see right here on the toe box buttery smooth by the way i mean you look at that leather and it will crease it's so nice um, but that did did this very often they would put the uh, grain, full grain leather nice genuine on the toe box and these panels and and ends up here so this whole thing is full grain leather and then from the back side, this is synthetic leather right here. Uh, on the hill as well, where the Reebok logo is. And obviously synthetic new book right there with the mesh. Um, very surprising to me, the new book is not cracked. Normally this uh, old of a new book will uh, crack and crumble and kind of leave stains when you rub your uh, finger over it. Uh, this one obviously is not. Uh, midsole is very interesting compound. It's a... Uh, it's not polyurethane, uh, full polyurethane. It's a uh, sort of a polylite combination. So very soft and responsive still. 
and obviously the rubber will last forever. Uh, and this is the outsole, very nice and clean with the pre-season and Reebok and obviously this nice, clear, uh, responsive hexalite right here on the hill. Um, absolutely amazing. I miss that hexalite. Look at that. Look at those honeycombs. Um, such a great shoe. So, uh, this is the other one, obviously. I think these looks look absolutely amazing. They're super preserved. Like, no soul separation, no crumbling, uh, no chipping or peeling at that new book, which is, you know, when you rub your fingers over, if it's uh, drying out, it will, uh, it will just le leave a mark. Uh, absolute DS, obviously, as you can see, Reebok on the insole which it was normal back in the day those insoles are not removable they're um, glued into the bottom very nice padding on the heel here's the label size 9 made in china very nice and puffy uh, kind of a um, not completely puffy but more of a condensed foam on the tongue i kind of like that uh, and of course this preseason stitched logo on the tongue right there with uh, these six perforations um, absolutely amazing these came unlaced by the way I laced them this way sorry about that <laughs> I wanted to put them on try them they're super comfortable um, just amazing shoe and just let me sneak in the uh, the 94 generation you guys seen it on some of my reviews um, before and on feed as well uh, this is the 94 and the box falls down so this is the 93 in the back and this is the 94 this is how um, the base of the new one came in it's completely redesigned as you can see there it doesn't carry anything over other than the preseason label uh, everything is redesigned from the logo from uh, midsole and outsole upper and everything and this shoe as well um, you can see them sometimes uh, called Atlas, Arsenal, or even Pay Dirt. Uh, so this is even more confusing. We have preseason here in the hill. Again, the forefoot, full grain leather. Then we have a black synthetic leather on the toe, toe box. If the camera will focus right there. This is leather, full grain. And then on the hill, synthetic, but we also have a stitched logo. Uh, and these... You can see where the synthetic leather is these will peel off uh, very easily uh, some of them have started this is the only weak spot of this shoe um, other than that everything else is on point and obviously with the 94 edition Reebok placed the big uh, vector on the outsole and raised the hexalite above the midsole um, which was absolutely genius idea and I was baffling before before that for years why didn't they place it above the midsole because it makes it more responsive and, and you can actually feel the hex light a lot more but they finally did it with uh, this 94 edition and all the other models we have this silver pre-season stitching on the ton which again very nice and puffy ton again made in China Reebok on the insole very a uh, very good uh, shoe I'm super happy to have now the 93 and the 94 generation of the same shoe, the Arsenal Low, both of them in a super preserved uh, condition. And surprisingly, this 93 one is even more preserved than 94. I guess the people that had them before kept them in a very um, well um, preserved um, um, environment with not a lot of humidity, not too dry. So uh, this is preserved. No. Um, nothing that really destroys the shoe and you know comparing to this one the vector logo on this one is stitched so it's not gonna peel off or chip like this one over there eventually will so this one is completely wearable and uh, in a absolutely amazing condition to be honest with you guys so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it guys another great uh, shoe for the um, collection the great arsenal low from all the way 1993 um, again if you like the video hit the thumbs up stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new stay tuned to collectivekicks.com for more sneaker news reviews and history articles until next time guys you have a wonderful day